Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Pinky, the housewife. We got an explosive conversation we're going to talk about today. Okay? And I guess you know who we're going to talk about. These two. Rocky, 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 and his wife, Tasha or Latasha, however you want to pronounce it, but her, yes. One of the escape members, or should I say ex escape members? I don't know what to say. I just call them Natasha or Tasha, whatever she wants to be called. Uh, but let me just get my disclaimers out of the way because this is going to be an explosive commentary. Woo! Let me just say everything in this video is alleged. This is my opinion, my opinion only, and everything in this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. And remember, allegedly, alleged guys, um, okay, and you're going to get a lot of my opinion going off in here. And it's early in the morning. I just got some clothes on, not in pajamas this morning. I just put some clothes on. But you know it's early when I'm drinking my coffee because I just woke up. I just woke up looking like this. I ain't got time for, I'm not the one that got time for makeup. If somebody want to put some makeup on me, please volunteer because I don't wear makeup. I, don't, I really want to learn how to do that. I just don't know how. So you get me bare face and sometimes just lip gloss on. I don't have time for all that. I, I No, I don't. I wouldn't say I don't have time. I just don't know how to do it. Okay, but anyway, we got an explosive uh, thing that we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about thing one and thing two. Okay, Rocky, Rocky, Rocky. Because he's rocking all through his head. Uh, and then we're going to talk about Natasha. These two are married. Okay, we're going to talk about the holes that she's been put into everything. Like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be good. I'm going to be very good today. Okay? Yes, I am. So, let's, let me just say this. When we're going to uh, talk about Natasha first, then we're going to get to the man that talks in circles. You know, like, <laughs> By the time you ask him a question, it goes around. He talks about so many different things, bringing up so much other stuff. You have to bring it back up down here somewhere, that question that you just asked him. So he can, by the time you get back to the uh, point of that circle, he, he may answer it or he may not. No guarantee. Okay? You'd be lucky if you do. Okay. But anyway, remember when Latasha did her live and I did a uh, commentary on it myself. That she said everything was, uh, she knew everything, put it like this. She said, I'm going to do it, okay? I know everything. A wife know everything. I know everything. That's what she said. Allegedly. In my opinion, that's what she said. Okay? She said, I know everything. I know everything. A wife know everything. That's what she said. Just my opinion. My opinion only. And it's allegedly. But you go back and watch her live yourself and see do she say that. Because I watched it. That's what I saw from my eyes. That's what I heard from my ears. You know. But anyway. Rock, Rocky still got all these other side chicks coming out with receipts. They just, just they just throwing those receipts left and right. And all I'm got them dick pics. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord. Yes, Lord. They all are talking about that thing. Yeah. So how do we all, with different women in different states, in different places that don't know each other, have the same picture of you? And in the same type conversation or the same conversation. 
I don't know. Maybe a meteorite or something fell out of the sky and we all got hit at the same time. They all got hit at the same time and got the same information. Fell down from the sky on paper. Now this is what you're supposed to say. Oh, this is the dick pic that you're going to have from now on. I don't know. But you, when you ask him, he talks in riddles. Or if you ask him, he talks about the he's federal, whatever that means. I don't know. But I'll give you my best guess. But let's talk about her. She recanted, took back, rolled back the curtain, pulled the train back into the station on that we have an open marriage. Now she's claiming that's not what she meant. But those are the words that you said, woman. You said to everybody in that line, I know everything. Yes, you did. I'm tired of doing that. That's going to hurt my throat. But you did say that, in my opinion. That's what I heard, okay? You know everything. Oh, Lord. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that alone. Oh, Lord. I said I was going to be good. Let's be good. Let's be good, Pinky, okay? Try not to drag her too much. Just a little bit. Okay? I'm not, I'm not going to drag you. But anyway, uh, she said... With uh, Andy, she was on what what happens live uh, with Andy, and what she said was when he asked her that question about the open matter, she said that she didn't mean that they have an open marriage. She meant they have open communication. Open marriage and open communication is two different things. This is like open marriage over here. This is like open communication over here. Two separate different things mean two those different things. They do not even sound nearby. If a hundred people heard you say open marriage, they know exactly what that meant. If a hundred people say heard you say open communication, they know what that meant as well. So you're contradicting yourself. I don't know why. Is it that he tell, telling you to take it back? Are you trying to cover yourself again once you got the backlash off that? Because if you're talking about you got an open marriage and you know everything, that means you knew all about the side chicks. All these side chicks was coming out. You knew about all of them. So that's... You knew he fools around. You knew he's been fooling around for years and years and years. So it's that's what that open marriage thing okay now you saying open communication i got open communication uh, probably half of the women in the world got open communication with they communicate that means you communicate with your spouse your husband your boyfriend your fiance your partner you communicate with that person i got open communication with my daughter i got open communication with my other daughter my son that don't mean we gotta, whatever you, woman, I'm just gonna leave you alone. Okay? You, you just need to deal with all these side chicks coming out. Because they got some good stuff coming out. There's some good stuff coming out. And it's gonna rock you to your core. But you ain't gonna show that because your head is not gonna let you uh, show that. You're going to say, gather yourself, gather yourself, or come whisper in your ear. I'm sorry, guys, I got to get comfortable. I'm always sitting on my feet or putting, putting my feet up in the chair, sitting on them or crossing my legs or something. But uh, because that's very comfortable for me. But uh, mm, 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 mm. I don't know. I don't know what to say about you, but I'll come back to you in a little later, okay? Let's talk about this man here. And first of all, I don't know why you're still with him, to be honest with you. Any other woman uh, with any brains in her head would have left a long time ago when all this stuff, especially with this stuff boiling over. All I can say is, when are you going to give your sister back her money? Just, let's just call it a, a, a job well done. Give her back her money. That's what we all want to know. We're going to give her back the money. You, you, you claim you got it like that. Give her back the money. 
Okay, thirty thousand dollars shouldn't be that much money. <laughs> to some people, thirty thousand dollars is not a lot of money. And if, if he claimed y'all got it like that, give it back to him. Because I know thirty thousand dollars is not a lot of money to me either. So give it back to him. If it's not a lot of money for me, and y'all supposed to be at the top of your game, you you working every day, and he's scamming every day, and both of y'all scamming and stealing, $30,000 is not a lot of money, so give it back. Give it back. Make the song call. Give it back. Give it back. Give that $30,000 back. Can I get a record deal while that? Give it back. Give it back. Give it back the $30,000 back. Oh, Lord, sign me today. Somebody, sign me today. Okay? While I'm doing this commentary, uh, find me an agent. Okay? Give it back. Even if I have to practice. Okay? Give it back. I can't seem like her, but give it back. Sign me today. Oh, Lord, I'm going to get a deal. Oh, Lord. Okay. I said I was going to be good. Like that, I'm thinking. Okay. Um, but anyway, huh, it's going to be an explosive moment for Wawa. Wada, wada, wada. Wada, wada, wada. Wawa. One that walling his thing all around, sending it to everybody. It's going to be um, explosive. Expl explosive moment for him okay let me just say with him he talks in circles he talks in riddles somebody said he talks in code some type of code well i don't know what that code is because i don't talk in code i'm just pinky i just said like it is okay and just remember everything i said up until this point was allegedly in my opinion now we're going to go to him which is still my opinion, okay? But anyway, he got a lot of more side chicks coming out. A lot more. And you said, you didn't even know the one, the first one, but you call her by a government name, you knew how many kids she got and everything, you know everything about the woman, because Miss Tasha Kay didn't tell you. You just smart like that, huh? And I give my prompts off to Miss Tachi K because the reason why I say that it you don't know how to handle her. She knows how to handle you. <laughs> she knows how to handle you. You talk in circles, but she just sit back and let you talk and just answer the right question. And she, she won't forget she asked you a question. She's going to double back on that question. Okay? You don't know how to handle women like her. You know how to handle women like your wife and all the other uh, side chicks. But they fed up with your butt. They fed, fed up. They mad. So they're going to come out. I don't blame them. Come out. Tell what you know. Tell what you know. Get it off your chest, woman. Because he is crooked. My opinion. But anyway, he was talking in circles. He called in, not knowing that, I'm not sure did he know he was being recorded or taped or live or whatever you call it, but Mr. Man called in. And anyway, he called himself the Fix It Man. The Fix It. What do the Fix It do? Fix It. He said, uh, he said, I'm the Fix It. Fix It. Uh, and he said he don't uh, fool, with, fool around with silly stuff. Silly stuff. What does silly stuff mean to you? He said uh, he's been put on um, put on Rob before. He called him Rob before, and that's easy to. Uh, he knows how to fix stuff. He's the fix it man. He's the Fix it, man. Oh my God, I don't know what that means. But I, I got a good idea of what I think you mean. But I'm, I'll let, let you all come to your own conclusion on that one. They, drop me a comment in, 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 uh, 
on my commentary and tell me what you think the fix it means. And then make sure you tell me what you think uh, Miss Latoya said when she said uh, they got open communication. They're not in an open marriage, which she lied. She lied. Okay, tell me about that one, and tell me what you what what do you think you think that fix it means? He used to fix it. He fixed everything. Okay, and then he keeps he kept talking about the uh he got people with the federal government. He got people with the federal government, and then every time he's asked a question, he said, "That's federal. I'm federal. That's federal. That's federal. I'm federal." It's like God. If you take a if I drink uh, a shot of coffee, but every time you say that, I'd be jumping off the, out of this chair. I'd be so wired because one cup of coffee is enough for me. If I drink two and three and four and five cups of coffee, I'd be jumping off this. I'd be, you see, picking hands from the ceiling. You'd be saying, what's wrong with her? And I'd be saying, I'm feeling good. Yeah, you you hyper, hyper, hyper. Yeah. Yes. And he's the fix it man. And also, he got people with the federal government. I don't know what that means, so I'm going to leave that alone. Woo! But then uh, Rocky said, uh, truthfully, they was uh, paying Tamika's money to Tasha. They was paying Tamika's money to Tasha. Now, Tasha knew they were paying her, her sister's money to her. Seemed like she would have spoken up and said something and did something. Or, hey, sister, your money is over here. Call it. Because Tasha ain't got your phone number. She don't have your phone number, so she can't call you. Okay? Mm -mm. He said the, uh, the royalty people always get the sisters mixed up. Or well, if you're paying somebody's check, seem like uh, the names are spelled different. They both start with a T, but they spell different. When they have different uh, date of birth or different socials or something, I would think so. Oh, Lord, my. And if you messed up one time, seem like you wouldn't keep messing up. You go back and double check yourself. Is there such thing as double check to make sure you got it right before you send out thousands and thousands of dollars to somebody? Somebody should have caught the mistake or that's the way they did back then. I just send the money out. But thank God to Taney's mom. Uh, if it wasn't for Taney's mom, I don't think none of them would have known. Thank God for her mom, been the angel that she is. And I hear they threatening people. Threatening people. Oh, my Lord. Mm, 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 mm. And then uh, he did say Tamika knows about everything, knew about everything. I don't believe that. She knew when y'all cashed her check and she didn't get her money. That's how it came in that the, uh, they did a little investigation to find out what's going on. I, that's when she found out in my book. I don't know about your book. Your book is crooked. Okay. And then he talked. Let me just tell you now. This is really going to be making no sense to you. But he did. That's what he said he did. And it's allegedly. Because you remember everything this man says. Even her. You have to take it with a grain of salt because they're going to double track, back it up, say they didn't say that, they didn't mean that, that's not what that meant, this, what this meant. You know, they do that stuff. I don't know why. But anyway, so you just have to form your own opinion. Just like me. It's my opinion and my opinion only. But also, he made a... Uh, he, he said he used to double as R. Kelly. That's a name I don't speak in my home. Don't speak out of my lip, uh, lips. But I just have to say his name. Okay? So you all know who I'm talking about. Who this man was talking about. Allegedly. He said he doubled for R. Kelly. 
and knows all about the dirty secrets. Okay, he doubled for R. Kelly. That means when R. Kelly was uh, had to go out, uh, leave the studio and stuff, he would dress or look like him. The, the food we uh, the people that's out there, the crowds or the uh, photographers or whatever. So Rob, that's what he called him, can come on out. But I don't know how much of that story is true because remember the man says a lot, and half of the, everything he says is nothing but lies. Him and his wife, just my opinion only, and everything is alleged. So I, y'all have to. I don't know. This man lies so much. Sometimes you lie so much you can't even get your. Mm, mm, mm. Then he kept talking about the, he brought this up several times, the BBC documentary. You, yeah, I'm looking at you like you're looking at me because that's what he said. That's what I heard and everything is alleged. But he kept saying the BBC documentary. What do you want us to do? You want us to go and pull it up so we can watch it? Yes, that's what he want us to do. That's what I started doing last night. Before I fell asleep. I think this was back in March 2018 or something. Um, but when, when my eyes start closing, they start closing. That's all I got to say. Okay? And my husband, oh, when my eyes start closing, you just get this this little body into the bed. Go to sleep. Because I, I cannot help myself then. I'm sleepy, and I'm, I'm 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 just like a baby when I'm sleepy. I'm cranky, 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 and I want to go to sleep. Okay, but anyway, if you ever, if you haven't seen a narcissist, this is one. He's a, he's one to me. Not one. I would. I don't know who's the worst, Martell or him. It's a close second. I think Martell is the worst. And then he's second. You tell me. Let's, let's do a poll on that. And in my comments, send me a, a comment. Who is the worst? I know both are bad. Is it Martel or Rocky? That is a that is a good thing to do. We're gonna do a poll on that. I'm gonna do a poll on that. Who is the worst? We need to think about all the things that Martel have done and said and, and done to his wife. Now, he's married too, okay? All the things, but Martel had not just done it to his wife, he had done it just allegedly. Now, all the statement I'm making is just allegedly, in my opinion. But everything, but he's not only doing it to his, his wife, but he had done it also to his children, his family, the whole, everybody. And he's still, and I think he's unraveling as we speak. Because the things he say, we can just pull up and say, oh, no, that's wrong. He just lied. Yeah. And I think he believes his lies, Martel. This one here, I don't know, do he believe his lies or is he just such a liar? It just come in nature for him, like Martel. Martel is common nature, but he still believes those lies. He can't tell truth from fact. Whereas him, I think he knows he's lying. But he's going to lie anyway. That's his pattern for. For, for for years and years. So that's all he knows how to do. Okay. All that is just my opinion, guys. My opinion only. So let's go ahead and get through this. Because my coffee is getting cold. And what did I say? When my coffee starts getting cold, it's time for me to, to let go. Okay? To wrap it up. But um, So you may want to watch that BBC uh, documentary that he did. Okay? And... Uh, Anyone, uh, just my opinion, anyone that worked with R. Kelly for many years, 
is definitely, I'm not going to say, definitely, I'm trying to put this a nice way, not right. <laughs> not right. Okay. Something is wrong with them, but I'm going to be quiet about that. Okay. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Okay. And this is one of the biggest things that he, keep, he brought up several times during that phone call. Okay. That he was there when R. Kelly married Aaliyah. He was one of the people in the room. He was there. Did you hear me? This is allegedly. Okay. But. And it's my opinion because this is what I thought I heard. That he was there in the room. One of the people in the room during the marriage of R. Kelly, a grown man, grown man that married Aaliyah at 14 years old. He knew how old she was. R. Kelly, just allegedly, they know they knew, allegedly. Yeah, but he was in the room. Okay? And then he kept, he brought up the fact that he studied psychology. Didn't nobody ask him, did he study psychology? Didn't nobody ask him, where did he go to school and what did he study? But he brought that up. I wonder why. Drop me a comment on that, guys. Drop me a comment on that. Is he trying to say that he knows how to read a person's psyche? He plays on your psyche? He, like I told you, he talks in code. All these different codes that he talks. He talks in circles. He do not answer direct questions. He also said that he signed Britney Spears the job records when she was 15 years old. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't, but I don't believe it. I don't believe too much out of his mouth unless it comes straight from the, the other party. Okay? Maybe y'all may believe him. I don't, I don't, at this point, like I said, I don't believe anything that comes out of his mouth. Okay? It's just my opinion, my opinion only. And all this stuff is allegedly because you can't believe everything this man says or nothing. And like he was saying that Jive Records uh, had a lot of kids on their label, you know, young people, uh, real young kids on their label. But I'm going to put that up. That was my little notes to keep me on track so I wouldn't go off track and start telling me exactly <laughs> what I'm thinking. Because what I'm thinking is not nice. This man, I see that he learned a lot of his behavior. He watched R. Kelly do it, so he figured, I can do it, but I can do it even better. That's just my thinking. That's just my opinion, okay? But um, you all tell me what you think about all this, all right? And uh, help me to make sense of this. Because he said a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. And every time he would speak, he would say, that's federal, that's federal. I got a lot of federal people. I don't know what that meant. If y'all ever figure that part out, let me know. But I know he didn't get caught up in the stuff with R. Kelly. Otherwise, he'd have been in the popo too. As you know, and I, for some reason, believe he's still probably in contact with R. Kelly while he's in the popo. But that's just my opinion, and that's just my thinking. What I said, and everything is alleged, okay? But for some reason, I that's just my opinion. 
and and he did say uh that he didn't he oh yeah he did mention uh while they was doing this little interview that let me show you how he did it um they asked him about the um they asked him about the uh kickback he's like i don't have to i don't have to do kickbacks i don't have i don't have to do kickbacks my, i hope i know it right i don't have to do kickbacks that's what he did that's my what i saw that was my opinion of what he did he don't have to do kickbacks yeah because they did ask him about it so if he did the if they spent over thirty thousand dollars of uh to make his money and then they did that thirty thousand dollars in kickbacks spent that because she knows everything that's what she said she knows everything so if she she had to know about that because in his and the exchange messages with the uh producer not uh the promoter he said that i told my wife my wife is on board i explained it to her i showed her the money that you sent and i don't know if you can send me the other half which is the other 10 and he showed her i think twenty thousand. and she just got to get the other five girls there listen to her i mean other uh three girls there listen to her which is four people group right you need and the uh, promoter said he need all four girls and he said they'll listen to her she's going to work on them so that means she did know about it but she claimed she did not know nothing 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 and she called rocky i can't i can't i cannot do this with this woman i'm gonna have to leave it at that because my coffee it it's not getting cold it is cold now okay because i think my husband had put this coffee up here for me before i even got in it uh got ready so it is cold so i'm sorry guys you don't do cold coffee okay i can have my husband to bring me another cup but he's not around and i don't know where he's at in the house i don't know i told you to pick ass house but anyway um uh, thank you guys uh for watching and i do want to say uh please help me grow my channel i woke up this morning i'm I'm getting there. I'm almost there, guys. Uh, I just need uh, some more subscribers. Make sure you, uh, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit it now. I always hit it before I even start. Just if you notice you haven't hit the subscribe button, just go ahead and hit it. Don't cause anything. And make sure you uh, hit the thumbs up and leave me a comment because I really want to know what you're thinking about, Mr. Man. And then uh her talking about how she backtracked that open marriage. There ain't no such talking about uh they got open communication. You know everybody know we all know that do not mean the same thing. Okay. So leave me a comment on that. All right. And then also don't forget to uh subscribe. It's free, it doesn't cost anything. And that'll help me to grow my channel. And I enjoy this story i told you it was good i told you